Hello everyone, this is What's Up again. Um, I wanted to show something about the um, uh, 50 hertz and 380 uh, kilohertz uh, discussion uh, of the frequencies that T1000 uh, uh, is using on his yoke coil. Uh, okay, if we look at this yoke coil here, which is a standard one, there are there are two winds that are inside here. Now, if we inside here, if we consider that, so there's one half here, and then there's one half here, each covering the half of the yoke. So this could be an analog to uh, a Q1000's coil. If we consider that this coil here is the 15 turn coil, this coil here is the 50 turn coil and this coil here is the 150 turn coil so this is what I took as a consideration um, so what I did was I put one frequency generator on this coil here one frequency generator on this coil here and uh, so right now I'm sending 380 kilohertz into uh, the inner coil, the butterfly coil, which is going inside here. Okay, so 380 kilohertz. If you see my output here, there's no LED lighting up, voltage 1.520, nothing happening. Now, if I add the 50 hertz onto this coil here, we'll show you what happens. Okay, now we see, you can see that the wave, I'll turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, and we can see that the LED is flickering at 50 hertz. So the 50 hertz in this case is doing probably most of the work and it's on the 50 turn coil and the 15 turn coil is receiving 380 kilohertz so the 380 kilohertz is not doing that much now let me turn off the 50 kilohertz the 50 hertz so the 50 hertz is turned off and we're gonna go and hunt for a uh, better frequency that will produce in itself a better output so let's look at the light while this is going up here. Oops, let me see here. Oh, let's go and get that. Right about there. So now we have here on the frequency generator seven megahertz going into the 15 turn analog coil here that, that we're considering as the 15 and we can see here let me just bring up the frequency here a little bit it's a pretty straightforward very very tight frequency okay and now I'm gonna put the 50 Hertz onto that and look at that. Now I have my same brightness, actually a little more bright. We now see the flickering, whereas when I remove the 50 hertz, we do not. So we know that the 50 hertz is actually really doing its job. And this is the waveform. Let me just put it one smaller. Take off 50 hertz, put on 50 hertz. So there is some validity to what Q1000 is saying about, uh, you know, the two frequencies, the 50 hertz being the rider frequency, the carrier frequency. Anyways, this is all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, maybe one thing, I don't know about that 380 kilohertz, if that's going to be high enough. I'd say you'd probably need to go into the huh, 7 meg. 7 megahertz, 3 megahertz to 7 megahertz is probably where you're going to need to be 
on that uh, 50 turn coil okay thank you and uh, we'll have another another video soon thank you bye now